Hello guys, welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about the DPC watchdog violation issue in Windows 10 or even Windows 8.1 or Windows 7. This error is another type of BSOD and as you know, BSODs are one of the most annoying errors in Windows. Those errors can be caused by multiple factors maybe software related or hardware related and in this video we're going to show you some quick things you could try to fix this issue and as always don't forget that in the description you'll find an article that contains many more solutions and some small advices plus some extra tools that you can use to repair your pc not only from this kind of bsod Before showing you the first solution, I have to mention that Microsoft suggested that you could replace the driver that triggers this error message, and the driver is called isstore.sys, and it's really easy to replace. You have to right-click on the start icon, then click on device manager, then here in device manager you'll have to expand ID, ADA and ATAPI controllers. And in this list, you'll have to look for standard SATA AHCI controller. You have to right-click on it and click on Properties. Then from this Driver tab, you'll have to click on Update Driver. And then click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software. And then click on Let Me Pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And select this one listed. It should be the only one here, but if it's not, you have to select the standard SATA AHCI controller and then click on next. The driver is going to be installed and then you'll receive this message. Windows has successfully updated your driver software and then you click on close and of course you'll have to restart your PC for the driver to work properly. The second solution would be to check your disk and you can do that by entering a command in the CMD. The command is very simple and you'll find it in the article down below of course but for that you'll have to access the CMD so you click on the search icon then type in here CMD and then on the command prompt you right click and run as administrator and in the control panel you'll enter this command and if you want maybe to check another partition not the C partition where you have your windows installed you'll just have to delete the C from here and then type in another partition letter let's see E so to start the scan you just press enter a solution that we recommend and we remember you to use in almost every video is to update your drivers and for that we have a link for a third party tool that is as I've said in other videos 100% safe and tested by us with that tool you can automatically download all the outdated drivers and you can also fix some issues in your Windows PC it's important to have your OS updated so that you want to get errors that are not fixed or patched in Windows Windows. and to check if your Windows is up to date you'll have to click on the start icon then click on the settings icon and then go to update and security then here in the first tab Windows update you'll see that the settings will check for updates and will tell you if you are up to date also it's recommended to remove the recently installed programs maybe you've installed some programs that are not genuine and those programs can harm the PC and to uninstall some programs in Windows is really really simple we're gonna use the default setting in Windows and we're gonna click on the search icon and then type in here control to access the control panel click on control panel and here in control panel we're gonna go and click on programs and features and in this list you'll see all the programs installed and you can categorize them by the date installed so guys if your error isn't fixed don't forget to check out the article down below you'll have there a few more tips and tricks that you can try to solve this issue also if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos i was emmanuel from windowsreport.com until next time have a nice day